Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jeremiah Tagg, and I am the owner of The Bevel. We are an online store that caters to the knife maker. And this morning, I am going to show you some easy tips and tricks on how to freehand bevel grinding. Bevel grinding was one of the things that I struggled with the absolute most when I first started making blades. And I've never used a bevel jig since I started. So that being said, I've had to figure out ways to actually grind bevels easily and consistently. So one of the first things that we're going to do is actually 45 degree, so you can see that there, 45 degree grind where our blade edge is going to be. The reason for that is once you establish a 45 degree angle on the edge of your blade, you can then see where you're at on your bevel and how deep you need to go. Typically I'll start with a 36 grit belt and then I'll move up through the belt progressions into an 80, 100, then I usually go to about 150 and finish it off at around 220. Now, one thing to remember, as you're grinding, you definitely want to make sure that you're keeping in touch with your heat. What I mean by that is if you've already tempered your knife, you will lose your temper if you get this sucker too hot. Another thing to keep in mind is you want to keep away from the tip. You do not want to put a lot of pressure on the tip. If you do, your tip can get too hot and then you have to start all over. Well, at least you're going to have to re-heat treat and re-temper. I don't think you want to do that. Something to also keep in mind is you will want to wear a mask. You can pick them up pretty cheap and it's a lot cheaper than well, having your lungs fill up full of crap and then you end up in the hospital and potentially dying. Also, when grinding, you'll want to wear glasses. Now, I actually wear glasses on the daily. So, probably not rated for safety, but still keep stuff out of my eyes. Lastly, if you're not deaf like me, you might want to go ahead and wear some hearing protection. They do get a little loud. So, one thing that I've mentioned before is having a file guide jig. Um, they're very easy to make and they will help you really have a smooth transition and keep your bevels consistent. Very easy. Just 1095 steel, a couple of holes, a couple of bolts, clamp your blade in there and rock and roll. So I won't be talking for the rest of this video. I'll be grinding and uh, I'll try to get as many angles on that as I can. Speed it up, throw in some cheesy music.
wanna sleep in Cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella sure that I don't become you I have no regrets, yeah I'm tied up my chest I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt Been stabbed in the back that I show you what happens Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to games, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to games, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own So you've uh, if you made it to this point, you've seen me grind in the bevels, and uh, you probably missed some belt changes in there. But ultimately, the most important thing to, to remember in freehand grinding is that it takes practice. It's going to take a while for you to get consistent results, but with enough practice, you're gonna you won't need a jig. So the most important thing is to have fun, be safe, and as always, forge ahead. Thanks, guys.